everyone. Welcome to the first ever episode of the, Sa the Stage Set Stories. I am your host, Hal, and here are some of our other hosts, Steve, hi, uh, uh, hi, and then there's Waba, Waba the Waba Fett. Waba! Thank you, Waba. Thank you, Waba. You gotta be steady, a little more steady with that camera, Larry. Sorry. Alright, anyway, so, we have got a story to tell. Hence, this show is called Stage Set Stories. Like, come on, alright? So, without further ado... Huh? What was that? I don't know, I'm sorry, I, didn't, I don't know what that was. Anyway, so... With, with our story, get the stage ready. Oh, and that's a, uh, um, okay. And so, stage, um, in a position. Once upon a time. Ha ha ha! Ouija number one. Ouija number one. The Ouija. What are you doing? Luigi, no, no. Okay, sorry about that, everyone. I don't know what Luigi was doing. Anyway, so moving on to our story. It's a go. Once upon a time, there was Wario. You know, the guy that tries to mimic Mario. Uh, um, I'll stop you there, Luigi. Ouija! Ah, no! No! What's going on anymore? What's going on anymore? Ah, no! What? Ouija, what are you doing? No! Ah. Ouija! Don't do that again! Ah, sorry guys. Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, I can... Uh, I can continue the story. So, once upon a time, there was Wario. You all know Wario. You know, the guy that tries to mimic Mario. That's a what I just said. Shut up, Luigi. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll admit that was a bit sharp. But, uh, anyways. So, once upon a time, Wario was just sitting in his house. Sleeping in, because... You know why he was sleeping in? Because it's Sunday! Yeah, Damn. boy! Yep, everyone just loves Sunday. Anyway, so, Wario was sleeping in because it was Sunday. And by this time, he had a lot of riches. Like, his, most of his house was full of riches, okay? You getting me here? Okay. Okay. So, one... So as he's sleeping, someone decides to steal his riches. <gasps> Who could have done this? Who could it be? I think I have the solution. Luigi! What are you doing? Luigi! Ah! <laughs> so, anyway, the person who stole his riches was... Mario! Oh. Luigi! Oh, Luigi, I'm coming for you! Luigi! Let us just continue the story. Can I tell it? Fine. You want to tell it? It's Mario related. So, you want to tell it? Just tell it. If you excuse me, I'll be back. Anyway, so Wario, so the person that stole his riches was none other than the notorious Kamek. Because he wanted riches. So Wario was upset to realize that all his riches were gone. So he decided to go after all of his riches. He went through dangerous caves. He went through dungeons filled with lava. Okay, maybe not the lava part, but the... Anyway, so... Wario, he went through a lot to get his riches back from Kamek. Kamek was in World 8. 
as if like this were a Mario story. But anyway, not devolving Mario. <sighs> where was I going with this? I forgot where I was going with this. Be right back. I've come up with more to the story. So as Wario was trying to save his riches after going through a grassy land, he stumbles into a talking... Uh, uh, excuse me. He stumbles into... Uh, Yoshi. Yeah, he stumbles into Yoshi. And you, and Wario is asking him... And Wario asks him, Do you know where Kamek took my riches? And Yoshi said, I'm sorry, I do not. I I can't do a uh, I can't do a Yoshi impression. Uh, anyway, so Yoshi tells him he does not know where the riches is, but he can get to, but he can get close to the riches. So off they went close to the riches to a temple, and in order to get to. And this temple turned out to be right in front of Kamek's lair. Oh, it's thrilling. Anyway, so... After Wario gets to the temple, like Indiana Jones, because in order to get to the lair, he had to steal an item that was going to unlock a back door. So he goes to the back door after he stole the item. And of course, he keeps the item for himself and runs. So after the, all of that, he finally makes it to Kamek. And Kamek tells him, Haha, I've stolen all of your riches. You cannot come back for them. And Wario says, Oh no, I'm coming back for my riches. And then a full-on battle starts between Wario and Kamek. Kamek is using all of his magic to turn Wario into weakling stuff like Koopas. Because, you know, Koopas. Anyway, so, the, the battle was fierce, but in the end, Wario won with a jump to the head, and Kamek was down. Because, guess what? There was lava. Well, no, I... Uh, okay, forget the lava. He was just knocked out. Wario knocked him out, okay? Okay? Okay, so then Wario knocks him out. And Wario does all he can to take all of his riches back. And so what he does is... He asks Yoshi. Hey, Yoshi, can you help me hold all of my riches? And Yoshi says... Okay! So... Yoshi and Wario work together to get the riches back. And after a hard walk through through worlds, he find Wario finally makes it back to his house. And all of his riches have been returned. The end. <sighs> Hello. Okay, so yeah, I guess that's the end of the story. Ah, uh, my goodness. Luigi, you've got some nerve. You, you've you got some nerve, Luigi. I know. Why are your hands even like that? Um, we'll just scooch you on over here. Anyway, thank you for watching the first ever episode of Stage Set Stories. Steve, do your outro. Uh, um... Uh, stay in school, uh, don't do drugs. Waba? Waba! Thank you, Waba. Anyway, that's the, that's it for the episode. We hope you enjoyed it, and with all that out of the way... Adios! Everyone, read this copyright disclaimer.